Hello, welcome to Capital Land Management. My name is Josh Burton, and I want to thank you for deciding to join our team. The video you are about to watch is an orientation to safety and common workplace hazards that you will encounter in the field. However, the video does not show all hazards that you will encounter. It is important that you are alert and always aware of other potential risks. Safety depends on you, and if you ever feel that an act you are about to perform or are performing is unsafe, stop and inform your supervisor or manager immediately. Our goal is that each associate goes home safe every day. Safety Rules, Policies, and Procedures The safety rules in this manual have been prepared to protect you in your daily work. Associates are to follow these rules, review them often, and use good common sense in carrying out assigned duties. All personnel shall follow the rules outlined in this Safety and Health Procedures Manual. General Rules When working outdoors during the day, wear sunblock, a long sleeve shirt, a hat, and long pants. Stop lawn maintenance operations during electrical storms and when lightning is visible or thunder is heard. Use work gloves when handling tree stumps, branches, clippings, and other accumulated lawn debris. Remove your gloves and wash your hands with soap and water before eating or drinking. Always have water, Gatorade, or Powerade available to prevent dehydration. If you ever feel dizzy or overheated, take a break and consume fluids. Avoid coffee, tea, soda, and caffeine, as these fluids will make dehydration worse. No smoking while working. Smoking is allowed at a scheduled lunch break only. Use eye protection at all times. Eye protection is provided and free of charge. You're required to wear eye protection at all times while working. More than 40% of all eye injuries reported were caused by projects and activities such as home repairs and yard work. Among all eye injuries reported, more than 78% of the people were not wearing eyewear at the time of the injury. Ear protection. Ear protection is provided free of charge. You're required to wear ear protection at all times while working. Permanent hearing loss can occur in as little as 15 minutes with exposure to certain sounds, and almost instantly with unprotected exposure to sounds generated from firearms and certain power tools. At 90 decibels of continuous noise, your hearing is susceptible to permanent damage. Work boots. Safety toe required. No sneakers or tennis shoes allowed. Ensure that no part of the boot has excessive wear and that the sole is in good condition. Patched or repaired boots are not allowed. Vehicle, trailer, and traffic safety. Only approved designated drivers are allowed to operate vehicles. If you are not an approved driver, do not drive the truck, do not start the truck, do not sit in the driver's seat of the truck. Ensure the vehicle is in park and set the parking brake in the towing vehicle before removing any equipment from the trailer. Secure equipment fuel tanks, sprayers, coolers, etc., with locks, straps, and bungee cords to eliminate or minimize theft and shifting of load. Nobody is permitted to ride in the trailer or the rear of the truck. Use ramps to load and unload mowers and equipment from the trailer. Take slow, wide turns when towing the trailer. Do not exceed the load capacity as posted on the door of the truck and or trailer. Do not place all the heavy equipment on one side of the trailer. Distribute weights evenly. Wear a seatbelt at all times. In a crash, you're twice as likely to die if you don't wear a seatbelt. Buckle up. Vehicle trailer and traffic safety. Use traffic cones upon arrival to job site. Create a safe zone on the side of the vehicle facing the roadway by placing four cones as the picture shows. Place MOA head signs after arriving to the job site. Place one on each side of the boulevard that you're working on. Place one at the entrance to the community that you're servicing. Follow the speed limit. Speeding is one of the biggest causes of crashes on roads, and slowing down 5 to 10 miles an hour can mean the difference between close call and death. Travel at speeds below the posted limit. Refrain from the use of cell phones while driving and operating equipment. Cell phone use is allowed at scheduled breaks only. Proper lifting procedure. Follow these lifting procedures at all times. Always ask for help when lifting a heavy object, and do not strain or lift more than you are able. Plan the move before lifting. Remove obstructions from your chosen pathway. 
Test the weight of the load before lifting by pushing the load along its resting surface. If the load is too heavy or bulky, use a wheelbarrow or get assistance from a coworker. If the assistance is required to perform a lift, coordinate and communicate your movements with those of your coworker. Position your feet 6 to 12 inches apart with one foot slightly in front of the other. Face the load. Bend at the knee, not at the back. Keep your back straight. Get a firm grip on the object with your hands and fingers. Use handles when present. Never lift anything if your hands are greasy or wet. Wear protective gloves when lifting branches or clippings with thorns or jagged edges. Hold objects as close to your body as possible. Perform lifting movements smoothly and gradually. Do not jerk the load. If you must change directions while lifting or carrying the load, pivot your feet and turn your entire body. Do not twist at the waist. Set down objects in the same manner as you pick them up, except in reverse order. Slide the materials at the end of the tailgate before attempting to lift them off the pickup truck. Do not lift over the walls or tailgate of the truck bed. Ladder and Step Ladder Safety Read and follow the manufacturer's instructions label affixed to the ladder if you are unsure how to use the ladder. Do not use ladders if they have loose rungs, cracked or split side rails, bent legs, missing rubber foot pads, or other visible damage. Remove buildup of materials such as dirt or mud. Allow only one person on the ladder at a time. Face the ladder when climbing up or down. Maintain a three-point contact by keeping both hands and one foot or both feet and one hand on the ladder at all times when climbing up or down. When performing work from a ladder, face the ladder and do not lean backward or sideways from the ladder. Do not stand on the top two rungs of any ladder. Do not stand on a ladder that wobbles or leans to the left or right. Secure the ladder in place by having another employee hold it. Do not carry items in your hand while climbing up or down a ladder. Do not try to walk a ladder by rocking it. Climb down the ladder and then move it. Always secure loads with straps and tarps. Caution off excavated areas. General rules when using gasoline-powered lawn maintenance equipment. Wear safety glasses, earplugs, and closed-toed work boots when operating any mower, edger, weed eater, chainsaw, hedge trimmer, or any other gasoline-powered lawn maintenance tool. Do not use a chainsaw, lawn mower, or any gasoline-powered lawn tool if you are taking medication from a container labeled may cause drowsiness. Do not use tools with parts that are loose, worn, cracked, or otherwise visibly damaged. Tag damaged tools out of service to prevent accidental startup or use. Do not alter or bypass any safety device provided by the manufacturer. Use only the grip location as specified by the manufacturer as handholds when operating the unit. Do not pour fuel into the tank of a running engine. General rules when using gasoline-powered lawn maintenance equipment continued. Do not smoke while servicing, using, or refueling a gasoline-powered tool. Keep body parts and clothing away from the running engine and the cutting blade. Do not run a gasoline engine inside the storage shed or enclosed area. Turn off the engine when you are not cutting or trimming. Allow the engine to cool before performing maintenance or refueling. Stop the engine and remove key or disconnect the spark plug wire before cleaning, inspecting, adjusting, or repairing cutting blades or other rotating parts. Allow the engine to cool before covering or storing it in a storage area. Edging safety. Do not start an edger with the blade touching the ground. Do not allow anyone to stand in front or on the unguarded side of the blade while the edger is in operation. Operate the edger at full blade speed. When edging along roads, driveways, or parking lots, stay as close to the curb as possible and watch out for traffic. Weed eater safety. Never remove protective guard from cutting head. Do not start a weed eater with the cutting head touching the ground. Do not allow anyone to stand in front or on the unguarded side of the cutting head while the weed eater is in operation. Cut level with the same height as the lawnmower. Do not scalp the grass lower than the height that the lawnmower cuts. Rock beds in the landscape. Never edge, weedy, or mow near rock beds. Rocks can become projectiles. Rock beds will be controlled with chemicals. Blower safety. Do not use the blower to clean yourself. Do not direct the blower towards bystanders. 
Watch for traffic when blowing roadways. Use both straps around your shoulders. Report worn or torn shoulder straps to management. Never use a blower while operating a lawnmower at the same time. Hedge and tree trimming safety. Wear long sleeves, long pants, and gardening gloves when trimming hedges or when picking up cuttings from thorny shrubs. If you discover a beehive or a wasp's nest while hedging or trimming, use the long-distance aerosol insecticide labeled wasp and bee insecticide to spray the nest. Test with a stick or pole to ensure that all the bees and wasps are gone before continuing work. Seek first aid immediately if bitten or stung by wasps or bees. Do not handle caterpillars or any other insects with your bare hands. Do not wear dangling jewelry while using hedge clippers. Position yourself so that your hedge and tree cutting movements are performed below your shoulder level. Do not break branches, sticks, or twigs over your leg, knees, or under your feet. Use clippers, shears, or a saw to cut them. Do not perform trimming of a limb if the limb is within 10 foot of a power line. Do not leave saws, clippers, shovels, rakes, and other equipment laying around in the work area. Handsaw and hedge trimming safety. Keep control of saws by releasing downward pressure at the end of the stroke. Do not use a saw that has a dull saw blade. Oil saw blades after each use. Keep hands and fingers away from the saw blade while using the saw. Do not carry a saw by the blade. Return saw, clippers, and other cutting tools to their sheaths or guarded storage place after use. Chainsaw safety. When transporting a chainsaw by hand, stop the engine, grip the saw handle, place the muffler at the side away from your body, and position the guard bar to the rear. Do not remove the chain brake or alter the handle, chain brake, chain, or covers. Always start a chainsaw with a 12 inch or larger bar on the ground. Engage the chain brake, place one foot through the bottom handle, hold the top handle, and pull the starter rope. Do not place a saw on your knee when starting it. Always use both hands to maintain control of the chainsaw. When moving from tree to tree or cut to cut, activate the chain brake. Remove your finger from the trigger and keep the bar away from your body. Do not operate a chainsaw above your shoulder height. To prevent kickback, keep the nose of the bar clear of other nearby objects during cutting. Do not set a saw down while the blade is engaged. Stop the engine and turn the switch to off when the chainsaw is to be left unattended. Lawn mower blade removal and sharpening. Turn off the mower and remove the key or spark from the ignition before removing the blade. Always use the face shield, eye, and ear protection while performing the blade sharpening procedure. Use only the approved jungle jack device to lift and secure the mower. Use an impact wrench to remove cutting blades. If the equipment is fitted with a blade lockdown device, engage the lockdown before beginning the blade removal installation process. If no lockdown device is available, keep the blade from turning or slipping by blocking with a piece of wood. Do not use grinding wheels if they have chips, cracks, or grooves. Do not use the grinding wheel if it wobbles. Tag it out of service. Adjust guard so that it is no more than a quarter of an inch from the grinding wheel and in a direction to displace sparks in a safe direction away from your body. Do not try to stop the grinding wheel with your hand, even if you're wearing gloves. Allow blade to cool before handling. Mower safety. Before entering fenced backyards, check for dogs by shaking the gate. If a dog is present, ask the owner to restrain the dog until you finish your job. Check again before entering. Visually inspect the area to be mowed. Remove or mow around hazards such as trees, stumps, roots, rocks, branches, sprinklers, hoses, electrical cords, light fixtures, pipes, clotheslines, and toys, etc. Never bypass the kill switch on the mower handle, seat, or parking brake. Only the operator is permitted to ride on the riding mower, no hitchhiking. Put the mower into neutral before starting or shutting off a riding mower. Do not place hands or feet under the mower deck. Do not direct the grass discharge towards bystanders, lakes and ponds, or personal property. Empty the grass catcher and equipped to avoid clogging the mower. Turn off the mower before dumping the grass catcher or removing clogged grass from the chute. Mower safety continued. When using a riding mower, Mow up and down the slopes. Do not mow across a slope. To mow across the slope, use an upright mower. Keep the mower in gear when going down slopes. 
Maintain three foot from water's edge when mowing around lakes or ponds. Roll bar must be in the upright position at all times with a seatbelt on. Never face forward when traveling down an incline. Always back the mower down an incline. If a mower breaks down, call your manager. Do not push with another mower. Do not push with your body. Loosen hydro pumps and pull with a strap and another machine only. If ramp is too steep, then do not load. Call for help in a lower trailer. Keep hands clear of moving machinery and blades. Wait for all moving parts to come to a complete stop. Always shut off equipment and remove the key from the ignition or remove spark plug boot before working or servicing it. Never reach under a lawnmower while the engine is running. Pedestrian safety. If you see a pedestrian coming in close proximity to working area, shut down the equipment. Wait for the pedestrian to get to a safe distance from work area. Never continue working with power equipment when a pedestrian comes in close range. Safety switches. Make sure safety switches are functional and working. Never bypass a safety switch. If a safety switch is not working, report the issue to management and do not use the machine. Discharge chutes. Ensure discharge chutes are facing in a safe direction. Never discharge debris towards people or property. Never discharge debris into retention lakes or ponds. Inspect areas before mowing. Walk through tall grass to make sure there is no cover debris or obstructions. Look for objects, uneven terrain, holes, or anything else that can create a dangerous situation. Pond banks. Conditions change between one week to the next. Soft edges of ponds can collapse without warning. Be alert around banks and slopes. Pond safety. Always keep a minimum distance of three feet or greater from the edge of the pond. Always have a roll bar in the up position and seatbelt on when operating mowers. Always have a buddy in sight when mowing. Never mow alone. Can you identify what this operator did wrong? Can you identify what this operator did right? Use caution around water hazards. Never squeeze a machine between a narrow area. Example, tree rings and lake banks. Always have a buddy nearby. Never mow alone. Accidents can happen quickly. Always keep a minimum safe distance of three feet or greater from the edge of a pond. Always have the roll bar in the up position and seatbelts on when operating mowers. Always have a buddy in sight when mowing. And again, never mow alone. Using glyphosate. Do not handle or spray pesticides if you have open cuts or scratches on exposed skin surfaces on your arms or hands. Wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants, boots, socks, and chemical resistant gloves. Store chemicals securely under lock and key. Do not transfer chemicals into an unlabeled container. Do not transport chemicals in the cab of a service vehicle. Always spray downwind. Do not stand downwind when others are spraying. Wash hands with soap and water after using chemicals. Wash clothing contaminated from chemicals separately from other clothing. Remove clothes immediately if they become soaked or wet from chemicals. Do not use empty or washed chemical containers for eating or drinking. Ornamental grass. Using twine, tie the grass at both desired cut lines and at the top of the plant as shown in the picture. This is accomplished by following three simple steps. One staff member will grab and bundle the grass in a tight clump. Second staff member will wrap a 24 to 36 inch pre-cut piece of twine around the bottom of the grass and tie together. Repeat for the top of the plant. With gas powered head shears, one staff member cuts the grass six inches below the bottom of the twine tied at the bottom. The second staff member must be at least four feet away from the machine operator and maintain the minimum safe distance until the plants have been cut. This concludes your workplace safety and health program training. The management of this organization is committed to providing our associates with a safe and healthful workplace. It is our policy that you report unsafe conditions and do not perform work tasks if the work is considered unsafe. You must report all accidents, injuries, and unsafe conditions to your supervisor immediately. If you have any questions about the safety topics you just watched, please feel free to discuss them with your manager.
Again, thank you for deciding to join our team and welcome to Capital Land Management.